All right, for my first question, um, what drew you to a career in public health? Well, um, that's a good question. <laughs> Our family owns a farm. Mm -hmm. And years ago, my parents started doing community gardens and feeding the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought that's what they were going to do. I didn't had no idea that I would pick up the mantle. Um, but several years ago, about four years ago, uh, we were talking about what to do with produce that we had lots left over. Mm -hmm. Our brothers were asking me this question. I said, let's start a farmer's market. And uh, from there we went to a friend that I had worked with, mm -hmm. asked if I could bring the market to the senior centers. And we started with 11. Now we have 31. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so in the last four years, mm -hmm. this has kind of caught fire. And as far as we know, we're the only ones that do what we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we serve senior centers in Cedric Harvey and Butler counties. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, what types of projects have you coordinated or helped with this past year? Uh, the mobile market mm -hmm. uh, has been our main focus. Um, and we have a network of producers that we work with um, that we purchase from, and then we provide to the seniors. And they can use their senior market vouchers or cash or EBT. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's been our main focus, it's been the mobile market and its growth. Okay. Um, what are your future aspirations for public health? Um, my future aspirations, we are now looking uh, to partner with several organizations mm -hmm. for a year-round program that would provide healthy eating to seniors and those that are disabled. Mm -hmm. So that's going, that's, that's our, that's the next thing on our agenda and we're excited about it because we've learned um, that um, the seniors can provide their meals somewhat nutritionally for the first two weeks of the month but that third and fourth week of the month when their uh, funds are getting low they don't have access to nutritious healthy food so we'd like to fill that gap that mm -hmm. second and third month of the uh, second third week of the month and provide nutritionally healthy foods for them. So we're looking at expanding year-round. Perfect. All right, if you had to pick one topic to shed more light on or fix in public health, what would it be? The food insecurity in food mm -hmm. desert areas. The lack of nutritional food for people um, that don't have transportation, mm -hmm. don't have access to healthy food, and that are in low-income areas. That, that was my mother's and father's focus. That was their dream, mm -hmm. and it still carries on with us to provide food for those that don't have food. Our motto is all are fed, none is hungry. So. I like that motto, <laughs> very good. All right, uh, what challenges have, come, have you come across in public health? Um, challenges. Um, rules and regulations, mm -hmm. when we go into different areas. Um, being accessible as a mobile market because it's a new it's a new um, process mm -hmm. it's like working with USDA what do you mean you're a mobile market well we're a mobile market we're not a stationary market so changing the focus and changing people's ideas of what we do always funding uh, having enough to provide for those that need it and then just working together and not duplicating services. So I think what that's what part of um, all of the planning that's going on is to work to help so we don't duplicate services. Though whatever we do, we do well. Mm -hmm. And that each one of us has our part to, to play in this. All right, uh, how did you get your start in your career in public health? Um, I got my start on the farm, working with my dad. <laughs> And he used to go around the community in his truck. He had a truck patch. And he used to go around the community. He'd, he'd do two things. Well, he did three things. He picked up a lot of kids in the back of the pickup and <laughs> brought them to the farm. He fed them on Saturdays. And he grew a garden. Uh, he had the best green thumb ever. <laughs> and then my mother uh, would work with the extension service to provide sewing and cooking um, uh, classes on the front porch of our farm. 
So all of this has just kind of evolved since 1968. We've mm -hmm. been in it since then. And our parents just instilled in us this legacy of feeding people. We cook all the time. We cook and we move food all the time. So <laughs> I guess that's what we're supposed to be doing. All right, um, what's the best part of your job? Meeting the seniors and talking to them. Mm -hmm. They are hilarious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they have such wonderful stories. Mm -hmm. But meeting the people and building the relationships. And also we work with the Department of Aging and the senior coordinators. Mm -hmm. It's because of those partnerships that we're able to do what we do. So it's the relationship with the people that's the best part. Okay.